gender ideology is a fake term made up by Christians uh, and, and transphobes. Joyce's video on gender ideology, a term Human Rights Watch dubbed a far-right Christian conspiracy myth, which, yes, it is. There is no gender ideology. It's just trans people who exist. There is a sociological, uh, like, subspecialty, if you will, uh, called gender theory or, like, sociolo sociology of gender or gender studies. Uh, that is legitimate. I, I've had people before get mad at me for saying the word gender theory, but gender theory is not gender ideology. Like gender ideology is a fake term made up by Christians uh, and, and transphobes. So we know that this is safe for minors and people who have no idea about what puberty blockers even do. And I think puberty blocker is a poor name choice because really what they are is puberty pausers. Like, it doesn't stop you from ever having puberty. Uh, it just puts it on pause so that you can get access to psychotherapy and you can decide if you want to go forward with um, gender-affirming hormone therapy and also allows for slower dosing of hormone therapy to be appropriate for the age of the minor. Right. So they like to use healthcare for minors as a big argument at a talking point in order to say that, oh, think of the children. Like there's a lot of nuance here that this discussion is completely devoid of in the public sector. And that's why like I like when somebody who is not a medical professional weighs in, like we get people all the time that call Takis making this argument of well, they just don't think that trans kids should get puberty blockers. It's like, I want to inform people, but also at the same time, like, why in the world, as a physician, why in the world should I make my medical decisions for my patients based on the opinion of somebody random on the internet who never studied medicine? Like, that's absolutely ridiculous to think that you have any kind of medical authority to be making that call for somebody else's health care.